This video is brought to you by Skillshare. More about them in just a minute. How about some more beatbox videos? Loop Station. Man, do I have something to tell you about Loop Station. <clears throat> what the f is Loop Station? People are like, you're a producer. You would love Loop Station. For a lot of my production, I don't use a lot of loops. For the most parts, I kind of make my beats from scratch. But loops are th this. It just automatically is gonna play this drum loop for me. I didn't have to do anything. So what's Loop Station gonna be in the beatbox world? I think I'm gonna find out pretty soon. If you're here for the first time, my name is Joey Nato. I'm actually a rapper, music producer, and YouTuber. I make music that sounds like this. What'd you think of that? All right, it's time for some Loop Station. It's time to get edumacated. Lucky squad never give up. Let's get into it. All right, so just skimming a minute in just to see like a little picture of what's going on. We do have equipment now. Maybe they got NPCs or something up there. You know, those little drum pad machines. So maybe that's kind of what we're dealing with. They got the mic up to their face. So are they gonna beatbox to a loop? That would be fire. Okay, hold on, let's, let's see. Okay, this should be good. Let's do this. I'm ready now. Smack it on me, papi. Okay. All right, so how are they doing those notes that are like, what's 128 times two? 128 times two is probably 200 and six. No, um, I'm not gonna ask Siri. 128 times two, how I do it is kind of round up. So 130 times two, 260, and then 130 minus two, 130 minus two, that's minus four. So it'd be 256. So these are like 256 notes that are doing that, that like really fast stutter sound. So I guess my question right off the bat is, is every sound here coming from the beatboxer? <laughs> Oh, 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 I will say that sound that's supposed to emulate a kind of synth there. But wait, he made those notes with the 256th notes. That, that's hard to say. That little stutter. Is it the vibration that's tricking you into thinking it's a note when it's really not? No, not necessarily. Okay, these are all sounds made by him. I get it now. Okay. Whoa. Hey. 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 Just wanna be Bro, the flow, what? <laughs> what am I watching now? Thought I was gonna watch the beatboxing. Okay, so so he made the beatbox beat. But what is making that bam, 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 down, 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 down? How did that sound come about? Did that sound also come from his boca? Actually, they probably modulate some of the sounds that they put into the machines, right? So that way they sound more like kind of like synthesizers or some kind of instrument of some sort. But these are not NPC machines. I don't know what kind of machines they're using to make these beats, but they're dope. Did you hear that bass? Everybody put your hands up. Bro, listen to this. All right, I can tell that's him doing. Boom, mm, 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 mm. This is actually something I've actually done before is beatbox individual sounds into the microphone, but then really spice them up and beef them up with different plugins and different amplifiers, distortion techniques, just to bring it out a little bit more and try to make them, you know, really punch hard because, you know, I don't have this type of amplification naturally to be doing that. So yeah, and it's all it's always really fun to take your individual beatbox sounds and make it into a beat. This is crazy. Listen to this beat. I want to use 
is this beat? So now the sustaining of the sound is all bleeding into each other. Before they, the, the notes were kind of overlapping with each other. I mean, I'm one voice, so I can't literally make them overlap each other while I'm doing them. But now they're just, every time another note comes in, it cuts the other note off. And they're less chopped up too. This looks so fun. Oh, so those are taking the notes of the hi-hats. Okay. That was crazy. Oh, he's playing the snares live. I like that. Okay, he had me fool for a second. I thought he set up the setting on his microphone in a way where it was like attached to some kind of plug-in or some kind of effect with his machine. And then when he was hitting the mic like that, I thought it was actually making that sound. But he was just lip syncing it or hand syncing it. Hand syncing? Yo, so many of these don't sound like human noises though. So are some of these synthesizers? If they are, there's nothing, there's no like keyboard or anything like that on that machine that would help you create actual notes and chords and stuff like that, which is what are being played here. So I'm guessing these sounds are just made with their voices, like even the like all that, like, I don't know if you were looking for insight, but this is instead just blowing my mind, which is why this is unfortunately going to have to be my last uh, beatbox video. Did he sing that too? I bet he did. It's like a tribal chant. Ooh, what's about to happen? Holding out this bass note, uh, bass note here. Ooh, the pitch rise. CD skip vibes. <laughs> I like that. I like how he didn't reinvent the wheel. He just went back to the same beat. Bro, this is insane, man. I'm just sitting here enjoying this. I'm, oh my God. This is one of the most fire things I probably ever reacted to. I'm serious. Inky is next. I love the mouth click snare that he's using here. The Cut. Cut. That's hard. Damn, kiss the ring, bitch. Oh, oh. Boom, 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 boom. And the jacket is fire. Everything's fire about this person. This is just a fire human being. That just sounded like he was like splashing his hands in like a bucket of water. <laughs> so how much of this is pre-made ahead of time? Cause maybe they make these 
instrument parts, like with the notes and everything, ahead of time. I know you guys are going to school me, but... These type of chants, too, these tribal chant type things seem to be popular to mix into this. Probably because it's vocal, you know what I mean? So it's just a nice aesthetic. So-so. I bet this is gonna be a little bit more than so-so. Damn, my guy's not impressed. Okay, so you can pitch your voice with it. So-so. So-so. I love how that little metallic y sound is going on in the background, like just up, down, up, down, like this little build up. This is playful, I like it. Oh, this is different. All bass, rapid bass. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, this is hard. This is so different. It's like cartoony. Oh, I love how he's like making the drums punch even harder by doing the live beatboxing to go along with it. All, all of them had some kind of live element to mix in with it. Bro, this is ridiculously hard. Bro, that was the hardest drop I've, I've heard. That's the hardest drop I've heard. That, okay. Wow. Part of me wants to break up this video into two parts, because this is this is a lot. Now, let's just keep going. But I'm gonna have to put an ad or a sponsor here, okay? We gotta thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Do you have a specific skill that you've been trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography to illustration to graphic design, freelancing and more, you can find all the classes that you need here on Skillshare. And personally, I was excited when I heard about Skillshare share and when I saw what it was all about. I love how they tell you how long each class takes so that way you know exactly how much time you're going to have to invest into a class. But every class is broken up into individual videos for the chapters for each class, which is super convenient. And you can rewatch a certain lesson as many times as you want. So you never feel overwhelmed. And me personally, I just love learning new skills here and there, whether it has to do with Photoshop or video editing or something music related. It checks all the boxes for me. Just recently, I took a class called Beatboxing 101. And the class is instructed by Richie Haran and and this class makes it feel like you're really sitting by his computer one-on-one -on -one practicing beatbox skills at a beginner pace. I quickly gained a bigger appreciation for beatboxers because of how much technique he describes as necessary, but he explains how to do things in a very simple manner. Which is very important for people like me that, you know, need a second or two to catch on to what's going on. He even breaks up his chapters into all individual sounds that you make in fundamental beatboxing. Meaning one chapter is kicks, one is snares, and so on. And the whole class took just over half an hour to start developing this new skill. Just like that. And now I'm the greatest beatboxer of all time. Well, at least I'm better at it. And another beautiful thing about Skillshare, not to be a hypocrite here, but uh, there's no ads. Now, if you're looking to learn a new skill or explore your creativity, I got good news for you. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description and in the pinned comment will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So that way you can begin your journey and just start exploring your creativity today. Also for the record, the entire catalog on Skillshare now has subtitles with Spanish, German, French, and Portuguese. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. It was that buildup and lack of bass. So when the bass came in, it was just crazy. So-so, damn it! 
It's so slow, but it's so hard. He gets it. Ah! He added the super high frequency on top of the bass now. And then he's making the glitch stutter a snare drum. <laughs> now that, that's just some some kind of sample sound, just super sped up. Let's go back to the 256th notes or whatever I was saying. <laughs> it's amazing. So so my favorite so far. Good stuff, yeah. All right, so where did these extra sounds come from? I need to know. Oh. Picking up the pace here. Okay, he's doing a vocoder effect with his voice here. You're going against Soso though, so you don't got a chance, bro. Sorry. Soso for life. I need some Soso merch. Like right now. Matter of fact, what the fuck am I doing? So so beatbox merch. Shop. I need the I need specifically Soso. There's no so so merch. So so. Does he have a website? Okay. Okay, it's not looking good. Where's the merch? So so merch. I need so so merch. Contact so so 13 looper 505. I'm over here reacting to your 2019 loop station video and I was wondering if you have any merch. Definitely need a so so shirt ASAP. Joey. So and team merch. So so. Merch for so so. Okay, that just happened. Whether you like it or not, that just happened. Ooh, the little harmony. Mm, those kicks are hard. Okay, so he's doing that live. Putting a vocoder effect on his voice live. That's hard. It sounds like he's pretty much perfectly in tune too with his singing. Woo! Oh! Yeah, that's hot. That's hype. It's those triplets, man. They just steal the show. Yeah, that's a crowd pleaser. Hard. Interesting. This one isn't as crazy to me, man. I don't know, maybe because I'm having trouble like catching that beat. It's like such an unorthodox pattern. That sound is like super loud too. The, the high pitched pluck noise that he made. I mean, I like the video game aspect of it. Cool. Okay. Like this little melody doing. Interesting. 
the high pitch noise is like too much for me, bro. I'll still buy your merch. All right, so distortion was the main component of that right there. That was the driving force behind that production. Hmm. So I think what happens, similar to an MPC, is you could just play one measure of a of a sound that you're trying to do. So you could just play like you know two seconds into the microphone, or you know record basically just two seconds of something, and then program it so it just starts automatically looping um, for a little bit. And I think that's what he did with the mic thing there, unless that was pre-recorded. But I don't know. It's hard to tell. I, you guys are gonna just slay me in the comments. Well, not slay me, educate me. Imagine that, like, I uh, didn't give a fuck about the motherfucking joke. I'm a pull up with that stick and hit your motherfucking joke. Oh, Man, I don't give a fuck about that. That's the basiest kick so far. Pull up with that stick and hit your motherfucking joke. Hey. Wait. So is that the inward voice you guys were telling me about? Something like that? The, the whatever's making that noise there? I feel like you guys told me that was like inward voice or something like that. That sound is just crazy to me. I love how punchy it is. Dun, 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 dun. Turning your voice into a sample and just manipulating it. Turning it into patterns. So far. Okay, a lot of reverb on that. That's hard. Okay. <laughs> there you go, just shoot your opponent on stage in front of hundreds of people. You are to it, my fools. All right, what we got now, Inky? We're going fast pace here. I still love that jacket. Oh! <laughs> that little sound there, the way he like led in with that creepy, eerie harmony. Hey, hey. I love it. That beat is insane. I love how he keeps the drums really light for this one. They're not like super punchy. Like they have a light feel to it. Ooh, a little siren. I was gonna say that harmony before the drop sounded like kind of like a warning. Siren of sorts. There is no exit for my voice. Hard breathing into the mic. These are so fire, man. I really don't know what to say in these videos anymore. <laughs> oh, a little reverse bass action there. All right, so now it's just the bass and the drums. Took everything else out. But I love how there's that distortion and that crunch to the bass right now. All right, rhythm mind. All right, it's like that retro, those Game Boy sounding. Oh, oh, that 
trésor. <laughs> this type of hi-hat pattern is pretty popular, it seems like, in this. <laughs> I want to know how they make these. What's live? What's not live? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, Loop Station is next level. Well, there you have it. Another video of me going gaga over men making noises with their mouths. Let me check my email really quick. I want so so merch. <sighs> no response yet. I'll let you guys know what happens with that. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Nada. I'm the wrong things. I talk millies, you talk memes. I talk really, you talk dreams. Your flow silly, my flow.